Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices and determinants. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if A is equals to a matrix which is square root of 2, 1, minus 1 and square root of 2. B matrix, it's given 1, 0, 1, 1, not 0, 1. So it's 1, 0, 1, 1. And the question further tells C is A, B, and transpose of matrix A. X is equals to transpose of matrix A, C square into matrix A. Then the question is asking us to figure out the value of determinant of X. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 243, 729, 27, and 891. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve the question further and get the correct answer for the determinant of x that we have been asked here. So if I try to solve this question further, let's see. So the solution, first of all, if I see here, it involves understanding matrix operations and the properties which we have understood previously, such as multiplication of matrices, the transpose of the matrices and the determinants of the multiplication and the transpose that we have. So here I have been given C is product of A, B and transpose of A. So if I have matrix C first to be figured out, which is given to us as A into B into transpose of matrix A. So if I want to figure out the determinant of this matrix C, I should have the determinant of this entire matrix A, B and A transpose. So determinant of the product of the three matrices that we have been given here. Now we know the property of determinants that it's basically if I have the three matrices multiplied and then I have to find the determinant of that resulting matrix. I can also find it as individual determinant of each matrix and then multiplying them. So if I use that same idea here also, I can write determinant of A into determinant of B into determinant of transpose of A matrix. So we have this idea. Now once I have this, I know for sure one thing that determinant of a matrix X and the determinant of a transpose of that matrix X are equal to each other. So determinant of a matrix and its transpose are always equal to each other. And when they are equal to each other, determinant of matrix A I'm writing as it is. Determinant of a transpose of matrix A is also determinant of A. And B is as it is. So I get here determinant of A into determinant of A, which is nothing but determinant of A squared into determinant of B. So we have this as a determinant of matrix C. Now, once I have this with me, I have been asked in the question to figure out the determinant of matrix X, not A, B, and C. So I can write the matrix X as transpose of A matrix into A into C square. So if I do that, I get X matrix is transpose of matrix A into C square into A. So if I find the determinant of X matrix, I can find determinant of product of this three matrices. And once I have to find the determinant of the product of this three matrices, I can further write as determinant of matrix A transpose into determinant of matrix of C square into determinant of matrix A. So once I have this again, I can again use the same idea. We know determinant of A transpose is same as determinant of A determinant of C square as it is and determinant of A. Since the determinants of all these matrices are some simple values, I understand the determinant of A into determinant of A will make it determinant of A squared and determinant of C squared as it is. So once I have determinant of A the whole squared and determinant of C squared, 
determinant of c square is nothing but determinant of c matrix individually and squared it. So I get determinant of a square into determinant of c square is the determinant of x square. So determinant of x that is present. So now let's try to further evaluate this. So determinant of a square into determinant of c square. And we have already figured out determinant of c from the previous expression. So let's use that. So determinant of c was determinant of a squared into b. So let's use that. So determinant of c we know it is determinant of a squared into b determinant that's whole squared again because it's determinant c also squared so if i do that determinant of a squared this becomes determinant of a raised to 4 and this becomes determinant of b squared once i have this with me let's further try to evaluate this idea so i get from here it's determinant of a raised to 6 into determinant of b squared or I can write this as determinant of a cubed into determinant of b, the whole square. So if I further try to evaluate this, let's figure out determinant of a and determinant of b, and then we'll put that in the expression to find the determinant of x matrix. So if I do that, a matrix, it's given to me here. Which is root 2, 1, minus 1, root 2. So if I have to find the determinant of this matrix, I get this is root 2 into root 2, which is 2, minus minus 1 into 1, which is minus. So it gives me 3. And B matrix, it's given to me here as 1, 0, 1, 1. Determinant of B matrix is 1, 0, 1, 1. That's 1 into 1 minus 1 into 0, which is 1. So we get this. Determinant of A is 3. Determinant of B is 1. Once I get both of the determinants here, I can find the determinant of x directly. So it gives me determinant of a, which was 3. So 3 cubed into determinant of b, which was 1. So 1, the whole square. So you get from here 3 cubed, which is 27. 27 whole squared, which is 729. So you get answer as 729. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, applying the concepts and properties of matrices. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on a everyday basis. Thank you.